Hi everybody, it's Diane from Tattered Edges Design. I'm back with that collage book and we're up to prompt number four, which is called Color Charge. Experiment with applying color to a collage that's primarily black and white. And there's his example. There's only one example this time. Okay. I'm not sure how many I'll do. I've got a couple index cards here. I've got a few others on the side if I want to do more. And I've got a couple magazines. I didn't pull anything out yet. This is a 1998 AD. It should have black and white pictures in here. And if I'm really not finding anything, I'll pause and look by myself. Well, that's interesting. I don't know that I personally want a collage of it, though. Anything else? And what am I going to use for the color? I don't know. I've got, um, he used a, what did he call it? Uh, I'm reading watercolor crayon. I do not have those. I have crayons. I have paint. I have oil pastels. I have markers. I'm not sure. I might get a couple different things to try. Well, all right. This is not helping me as much as I thought it would. Moving in the back. All right. What about this? I don't know. Watching someone flip through a magazine is really not. I don't. It's not on your to-do list, is it? All right, black and white pictures are harder to find than I thought. All right, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause. I'll look through some magazines by myself, and I will come back. Okay, I've got three collages here that took a lot longer than they should have. Apparently that five-minute collage exercise taught me nothing. But I've got that. I've got crayons that are, I don't think I've even ever used. And a set of oil pastels that are probably older than most people watching this video. I'm not going to use paint because I know what paint does. I use paint. I don't want to use markers because it's going to smear. So I thought I'd try these since I don't you know usually use them so i don't know what would you do you know he just um you know kind of did swipe you know it's not like he's trying to you know colorize like a black and white photo or something i don't know um do i have to have specs for this exercise that i didn't think of that Well, I guess I'm just coloring. <laughs> yeah, see, he mistitled this exercise. It's called coloring. It's not the fact that I'm missing the point, right? Well... I don't know. I think Diane's missing the point. Let's see. First, we watched her flip through a magazine or two, and then we watched her color. Now I can watch my five-year-old do that. I don't know. We're going to come back. I don't think that's done. We're going to come back. Here's this one. And I was not all that careful with the glue. I got a glue spot there, which uh, normally I would probably take a little damp towel and try to get that off. 
But I thought maybe that would be cool. Maybe it would come up, you know, if you rub color over it, looking darker, like, it would give it a little interest. <laughs> Just say, yeah, that's a cool idea. All right, this isn't showing up. I don't know if it's the color or it's the, you know, material here, crayons. Yeah, this really isn't showing up. All right, I guess I'm not using crayons. There's your lesson for that. I can't get it back in the box. I'll do that later. All right, bring in the oil pastels. And I'm kind of coloring again. I've never done this, but you can thin um, oil pastels. Oh, I'm sorry. Watch it, Diane. I'm just trying to find my paper towel here. With, um, I think, does it even say, like turpentine? Yeah. When brushed over with a wet brush, colors can be blended and shaded. Oh. Oh, here. Can be used wet with turpentine or mineral spirit. Well, make up your mind. Well, I guess wet brush with turpentine or mineral spirits. Okay, she's missing the point of that too. Well, I'm not using that. One, I don't even think I have any. And two, it'll probably give me a headache. So nuts to that. Well, I don't know. No, is it cool or does it look like, yeah, your kid got at your artwork? I don't think Diane's having much success with this <laughs> Is she going to get rid of this video? I don't know. Maybe. Well, it just goes to show, you know, maybe this is a good way to discover what you need practice in and that kind of thing, too. It's kind of cool. And now if I was using paint, I'd be much better at this. <laughs> Trust me. All right, we'll come back to this one, too. Now, this one, isn't that, you know, pithy and thought-provoking and everything? You know, it's a Barbie doll and these frames and symbolism. Yeah, well, it means absolutely nothing. I just thought it was a cool arrangement and that someday somebody go, who is she trying to convey? What is, what is that? <laughs> it's nothing. Yeah, it's hard to know what colors, because red, I'm not a huge fan of red. I, well, one, I just, it's not a big color for me. But it's so, you know, attention-getting and everything that I just am not a big fan of it in our, my art. It has its place, obviously, but... white look over these look like I mean yeah that works all right what about like a color around it but what red brown wouldn't do black blue well what about red around
interesting. All right, let's let's go back. I mean, it's it has its interest. It's kind of cool. But I don't know that I'd say, you know, this was called color charge. I don't think I charged it. And yeah, what you know, you get to a point where are you just coloring it? I didn't say not to. <laughs> Is this a don't do what Diane does episode? Or I'll watch Diane do it so I don't have to. Let's just see how much we can really ruin this picture. Maybe that should be the name of this exercise, how to ruin a picture. This one, Diane does it. I don't know, that guy, you know, I think I just lost a lot of viewers here. That's not awful. I had a high school art teacher that one time said, there is always something good, which I don't know, forgive me if I've already said this, but there is always something good to say about a piece of art. Even if you don't like it, you know, it's not your style or it's not that great. There is usually always something you can say that's positive about it. So let's put that theory to, to a test. <laughs> This one, can we mix our mediums? We're we gonna get in trouble for that. Um, I've seen you going around it in black, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I'll use a cheap pen just in case the oil pastels ruin it. Definitely won't go over the pastel. All right, there's another lesson learned. I don't know. Is this one of those keep tinkering with it things? Or you don't know when to stop tinkering thing. All right, let's look for a minute. What do you guys think? I'm going to stand back a little bit. Yeah, you got a car? That's a Muppets reference. I don't know what else I could do with them. <laughs> I'm sure some of you have a few ideas that might involve, you know, a match, right? I don't know. I'm kind of cool, kind of not so great. What do you think? Well, here, you know what? Let's look at his. Okay, there's that one again. All right, and here's what Diane did. And now this one could use some help. These other two are okay. This one, it's kind of nothing going on there. Um,
like this one. Maybe I should outline in a black pastel, huh? Yeah, it's a little, little more something. Confusing. I like that a little better. Whoops. Forgive me for this whole video. <laughs> I think I'm done. I don't know what really else to do with these. Um, what do you think? I mean, be kind, but what do you think? I mean, there's artistic merit there, I think, and it's definitely not something I normally do. Um, which, you know, that's always kind of a good thing, I think. It doesn't necessarily mean you want to pursue it or anything like that, but, you know experimenting stepping out of the zone every once in a while all right i think i like that a little better this one this one's okay i like this one this one's okay you know it's certainly not great well none of them are great but i wonder if i blended where my towel go here it's blue a little bit And if you intend to do this, I don't know why you would after this video, um, these could smear. Be careful how you store them. Either smear or smear on other artwork if it's, you know, in a portfolio or something. So be aware of that. Well, all of these should have orange on them. Yeah, it's a little, little better. All right, well, there we are. Exper exercise, I was going to say experiment. I think it was more like an experiment. Exercise number four, adding color to a primarily black and white collage. I'm glad I tried it. I don't know that I like it. If I do it again, I'll probably use paint. But okay, there you go. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> All right, have a nice day out there.